To find out more about the South in transition, I spoke with the former governor of Arkansas, Bill Clinton. In your inaugural address, you said you hoped to make Arkansas one of the best places in America to live. Are you making any progress? I think so. Of course, there are a lot of uh, a lot of long-term problems with bringing a state uh, that has a low, comparatively low per capita income up and at the same time uh, not sacrificing the environment and improving the educational and job training efforts we're making. A lot of difficulties, but I think we are making progress. Is Arkansas primarily an agricultural state? Oh, I don't think you can say that. It's about 50-50 now in terms of our income between agriculture and, and uh, and manufacturing and industry, but we're a very great agricultural state. Our state is first in the production of rice, first in the production of poultry, broilers, third in eggs, fourth in soybeans, and 45,000 of our people work in the timber industry. Are you ahead of uh, Louisiana in the production of rice? Yes, for the time being we are. Well then, you must be doing a lot of exporting to Asia. We do. I took a, a trade mission to Taiwan, Japan, and Hong Kong recently, and some of our people went on into the People's Republic. We sell a lot of agricultural products abroad, especially rice and soybeans. So that even a state like Arkansas, which is submerged in the middle of the continent, as it were, uh, still has international responsibilities. Well, we're beginning to. Our, our farmers have been very sophisticated about international relations, at least economic relations. Uh, and the, the state, I think, is in, on the whole, is beginning to integrate itself not only more with the country but with the world. We have a, an office in Brussels. My Department of Economic Development spends a lot of time there trying to export other non-agricultural Arkansas products. We're even selling uh, running shoes in Belgium, things of that kind. So we're beginning to pull ourselves into the world economy.